In this video, I challenge myself to beat Traria, but every item dropped by enemy is randomized. So will I be able to beat Traria? Let's find out. Alright then, let's chop off some trees for some platforms, cause I can't only rely and drop some enemies. Oh great, let's kill some slimes. Solar table fragments and some weird clothes. I don't need these, I need some weapons. I think cactus armor will be better till I get some proper armor. Alright, come on, drop some weapons or anything. No, 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 no! Oh, come on! Alright, let's head home. Come on, dude! And there we finally have some armor. Wait, I got mithril helmet from a worm. Wait, wings? That's actually really good. Part card. What the heck is that? Oh great, I got some leggings. And it has 16 damage? That's really good. Come on, drop something good. Wait, a bundle of balloons. My movements will be really good with that. Oh, wait, that's a moth on wings. This is one of the best wings. I'm getting really lucky right now. A beetle armor. What? That's 32 defense. I won't have to worry about armor anymore. Come on, drop a sword. I guess that works. It doesn't really have any range. I'm getting quite lucky right now. Am I using the right mod? The only randomizer is on. I guess I'm just really lucky. Alright, I want a better pickaxe. Anything better than a copper pickaxe. But that's desert boots. I really needed it. Because I was tired of walking slow. Solar monolith. Can't this be used as a light source? I think it can be. Yep, it does work as a light source. And there we go, finally a hook. Let's see if the dungeon has anything. Wait, where's the dungeon guardian? Oh, there it is. Oh my god. And there we go, our first life crystal. Wonder what that is. God damn it! Alright, a new accessory. I'm hoping I get Feral Claw. And nope, Anklet of Winds. Well, I guess I can use it. Oh, a turtle. Wait, Frozen Sealed? That is one of the best accessory, and I got it from a turtle. I was hoping if I can get some potions from this chest. I wasn't hoping for death though. Let me reorganize my inventory. A Hydra Staff? Wait, that's really good. Yep, yep, these items are great. Alright, let's fight the Skeletor now. It should be pretty easy, hopefully. Yep, it was pretty easy with this amazing gear. Another monolith, aka giant light source. Amber horse soup balloon. It can release bees? Wait, this item is really overpowered. Alright, now let's beat the Eater of Worlds. It should be pretty easy. Wait, its segments are dropping loots as well. This is great! With this I can get so many items. And I got almost all planted out loots. What is up with my luck, dude? Alright, time to go to the hell. And that's life crystal number 2. Alright, let's start building some platforms for Wall of Flesh. And we got helpers also. Oh, there's the Buddha Demon. Thank god it dropped the Buddha doll. I thought even the doll would be random. And now let's summon the Wall of Flesh. Oh shit, it spawned on the wrong side. No, 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 kill it fast, kill it fast. Okay, yep. Oh, come on, kill it fast, kill it fast. Thank god it died soon. And looks like we won't need to mine any hard mode ores. Because we got adamantite drill. I also need some better weapons. Well, I won't have to upgrade my pickaxe anymore. Oh, a starlight. But it doesn't really have any rates. Alright, time to fight the Eater of Worlds again for some loot. I don't even need to attack anymore. My minions and accessory will just kill it. Alright then, one more time. And that is my third life crystal. Alright, I got more life crystal. Finally a magic mirror, dude. I got my favorite mount, which is Broom. Wait, that's a Star Wrath. This is one of the best weapon. And it even works underground? That's crazy. Wait, that's the mechanical skull. Alright, I only need to make summons now. Now time to destroy the altars. This place is really good for farming source of light. And the pits look really good with the dyes. Oh, I'm making a glove. I can replace the power glove with it now. And I finally maxed out my health. Wait, why can't I move? What the hell? I didn't know I could be petrified. Alright, I need a bit more oricalcum for anvil. And there we go. And now let's craft the twin summon and the destroyer summon. I think I'm overpowered. It should be quite easy. Let's start with the destroyer. Whoa, look at the damage. I don't even need Arena for bosses now. And there we go. Alright, let's fight the twins now. The Piranha Gun is really good for bosses. You just hold right click and it just attacks the enemy automatically. And there we go. Alright, now the final mechanical boss, Skeletron. And let's go. I think I can beat Queen Slime as well. Whoa, that's a lot of loot. I think even the projectiles are dropping items. Now let's make a shortcut to enter the temple after I defeat Plantera. 
What? A cell phone? I've never seen it in Terraria before. Oh, there's the bulb. And now it's time for Plantera. This should be pretty easy considering the gear I have. I'm doing decent damage. I barely am losing any health from it. Yep, the Plantera does take more damage in phase 2. And there we go. Now time for Golem. Wait, I forgot about the traps. This might be really bad. The Golem is doing more damage. What the hell? Alright, phase 2. But I don't even have enough health. Come on, die fast. Alright, I beat it. Let's go. Fuck. Alright, let's collect the loot at least. I don't think I need any of these loots. Wait, I can summon two Hydras now? Let's fight the Golem again then. Yep, pretty easy. Now it's time for call test. Wait, I don't do enough damage at all. What the hell? Oh shit, I shouldn't have done that. The Phantasm Dragon is gonna spawn now. Alright, I bet it. Wait, I'm near Solar Pillar. This might be a bit bad. I guess I'll destroy the Stardust Pillar first. Well, that was a lot easier. Why on earth do these aliens have guns? Come on, dude. Alright, this time I will defeat them. God damn it. Oh, a Vortex Booster. Yep, I can move better now. Wait, what the hell is this boring bow? Does this even do anything? Oh great, it does nothing. Alright, let's buy a risky eternal crystal. Come on, don't die. Alright, got it. Run, 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 run. Fuck. We can stay in the air and kill the Vortex Pillar. That's a bit too cheesy, isn't it? Well, that was fucking easy. No, 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 no. Why the fuck does this thing have perfect tracking? What the hell? Alright, I need more loot. Let's do the old one's army event. Yep, the orc can't even touch me. Wait, 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 the bitch is here. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, that's right. Don't ever surprise attack me. All right, more loot. Hmm, it seems three lunar portals are a bit too overpowered. Yep, even the solar pillar doesn't stand any chance. All right, now time for moon lord. All right, buff up and got everything ready. And let's go. I can't even aim at all. What the hell? At least I'm not taking much damage. Alright, that did a lot of damage. Now only the heart is left. Let's use the Daybreak. Yup, it can stack up damage. Let's go! And with that, the playthrough is finally over. If you want to play this mod, then here's the name of the mod. And subscribe for more.